Hi, this is Adele and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't before, please hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on any of my new YouTubes. So I want to show you that there are so many ways that you can get a painting started and um, when you don't have any ideas. And I put together 10 ways to begin an abstract and I'm going to do number three, connect the dots. And by the way, if you want access to this, there's a link below. But let's do connect the dots. I took out three different size, um, uh, um, sizes of brushes. This is a, ten, a 12 by 12 inch um, watercolor paper. And I'm just going to first put the dots randomly, large, small. And I'm being very generous, let's say, with the idea of a dot. Could be a line. Um, but just dots around. <laughs> I'm going to do some of that. Okay, so we've got the dots. Now what? Um, we're going to fill in and with paint or marker of any sort. So I'm going to start with a um, an oil pastel. And I'm just going to somehow connect the dots. I'm also going to go off the page. I'm going to do another one here and create this shape. I'm going to take another one. Um, actually, now I'm going to start connecting them with um, brushes. So let me put these in the water. And what I'm going to first do is I'm going to mix some red with some white. So we're going to have a pink. And I'm just going to connect the dots. So say we're going to connect these. Oh, I think I'll do this. I'm going to connect these dots, come down here, and I'm going to also come here. Look at the shapes. The shapes are really cool. Okay, and I'm going to do something else. Let's see. I'm going to fill this in just a little bit so the line is thick. I like that. Thin line, thick line. Okay, I'm not thinking about anything else. It's just to get things started and you don't have to think too much. All right, now, what other dots? I think I'll use another paintbrush and I'll go in with some yellow. This is yellow ochre. Um, I think I'm going to fill in like this. Fill in these dots with this. How about that? And maybe over here, I'll fill this, fill this dot in. Okay, let's see what else. Now we have, what happened to my, oh, here, my thick paintbrush. I think I'm going to do some, a little bit of, like a peach. Um, maybe I'll add a little bit of blue. What do we get? Add some white. Maybe a lot of white. Whoops. I think I better take all the paint off of here and mix it with my palette knife. Okay, now what? I'm going to... This is going to be... I want some really big shapes, too. And now, you see, since I got started and doing this, now I'm kind of filling in and I'm not necessarily paying 100% attention to the shapes, I mean to the dots like I did before. I'm just kind of basically making, thinking of it like a puzzle shape and filling it all in just with having some color down there. Now what I might do is, since I have this paint out, I think what I might do is add a different color using what I have already. And this one, I'll just draw here. And I'll just extend that to here. So it starts out with the dots, but you can interpret like, okay, just pretend there's a dot there. I'm going to fill that in. And since I like this color, there are no more dots that you actually see. So I'm just going to make some up there to there. I see them underneath. And I'm going to cover this over and make this a shape. And some of the paint isn't 100% mixed, and that's good too. 
So I've got this. Let's see what else. Now, I think I'll add, I haven't added any blue. So I think I'll add some blue and I'll add a little bit of yellow. That's going to give me some green. Well, maybe not a total green. Not as green as I thought. I'll put a little bit more yellow. And whatever this color is, I'm just going to use it. Because remember, this is just to get started. So, oh, that's a gorgeous blue-gray. So I'm just going to fill this in. And I'm looking to just fill in spaces. There we go. Okay, now I might add a ton of white. Just scoop up this and add tons of white and fill it in somewhere else. I like to use with the color that I already have on my palette. So, where else can I put this? If I go on one side, I like to go do something on the other. And if I've done a larger shape or a medium shape, I want to do something totally opposite. So this will be a smaller shape. Won't be the same size as that one. So now we've gotten things going. I'm going to fill in a couple other things and um, other areas, and then we're going to wait for it to dry. We've got something to respond to next time. I'm going to do a, maybe a pretty much of a red. A red with a little bit of white, a little bit of yellow. So it's like a red with a little bit of um, orange in it, sort of. A yellow, an orange red. And I love red and pink next to it, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to follow this line. There we go. And I put tape around it so um, at the end I can take the tape off and have a really wonderful piece. Now I think what I'm going to do is just do um, some white. But it turns out it's pink. I'm going to, didn't really want, I'm just going to go like this and mix it on here. So I scooped it out and whatever paint was on it is what I'm using. And I'm trying to get the white, but if I can't, that's okay, it's pink. I'm going to do the same thing in here. I'm going to fill this in right like that. And you want things that you don't expect to happen because that way it's like with this. Oh, okay, that just happened. So you roll with it and it turns out into being something really wonderful. So don't think of it as a mistake. So now we just have a couple more. Um, I like this red here, but I'm, this is really big. So I'm going to do something really small over here. And that is, I think I'm just going to add a pattern. Okay, now two more. We're down to two more. How about if I do a little bit of blue in this yellow ochre? Then I'm going to add some white, even though it has a little pink in it or whatever. And whatever this color is, is what we're going to use. And I'm going to put it over here. Oh, that's a beautiful kind of wonderful ochre or yellow, desaturated yellow. And I'm going to put it over here. And I like it so much, I'm just going to go over that, the yellow ochre that I did before and cover it up. How about that? That is so cool. Now, Hold on. If you want to see what it looks like when I take this off, let's see. It can be completely different. So I'm going to take off the tape. Whoops. And you've got a beautiful painting. It can either be the start to a painting or it can be the end. Like if you love it, it can be like the end. You've got, this is a 12 by 12 inch. Let's see, almost done. There we go. Let me turn it around, this is how I painted it. And I wanted to show you also, if you have Posca pens or oil pastels, you know, you can go in now once it's dry and fill it in and do more to it and respond to it. So remember to click the um, link below if you wanna have your own 10 ways to begin an abstract. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.